Hello everyone, sorry for the delay in the upload because uh, there was some construction going on on my side so it was too noisy for me to do any recording. Even to this point, I think you guys can still hear some um, construction noise in the background so pardon me in today's video. And without further ado, let us look at how worthy is Princess Aisha actually. So this will be today's video format. Sadly, Princess Aisha is not really seen in terms of the PvP format, so there's really nothing much to discuss about her, but we will discuss other aspects where Princess Aisha excels at today. Aisha is the 7th princess of the Ra Empire, which is the most powerful rival to the Canterbury Kingdom. She is considered one of the best at the throne due to her leadership prowess, and she also has unmatched political finesse and intelligence. She also has a very clear vision for the Empire's future. Although she is relatively small, she has a very strong and charismatic voice. She plays an important role as an ally to the Canterbury Kingdom against the invasion from the invaders. Princess Aisha has one of the lowest attack stats in the game. She is ranked 29 in terms of defense, 9 in terms of crit hit chance and 15 in terms of HP. Aisha is a support unit that has party buff plus HP up to 36%. She used a one-handed sword and able to equip a shield and she's able to boost your team's damage by 30% for 5 seconds from her morale boosting abilities. Her chain skill, Taking Leap, will further increase all your party's member by 50% for 8 seconds, making her an excellent attack buffer for increased damage output. Her special ability, Royal Art of Defense, allows her to create shield 10% on the battle start, and it allows her to regenerate some shield through the battle, and this increases her sustainability by a bit. Other than the standard crit hit chance, weapon skill regen speed, HP and defense, Aisha's exclusive weapon allows her to increase the party member's crit hit chance by 2 times for 3 seconds if she lands a critical hit. However, this ability has an 8 second cooldown so if you plan to build a very high crit hit chance Aisha in order to abuse this, it's definitely not possible. Her weapon skill, Imperial Order, deals 380% DPS while having a quite long regen time of 11.6 seconds. However, it's important to note that you don't usually see people using Aisha as a primary unit, so you do not actually see her weapon skill that often. But, 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 her weapon skill is also one of those weapon skills that does a one-hit crowd control if you happen to use her as a primary unit. For her normal attack, Aisha performed 2 slashes before doing a piercing attack that is able to deal 3 hits to the enemies. She also has an icon that is able to allow her to activate her morale boost buff which will buff the attack of your whole team. Her weapon skill will release a satellite on top of your target and deals damage over 4 to 5 ticks and this is one of those skills that is also a 1 hit uh, crowd control weapon skill. Now moving on to Colosseum and Arena, 
Sadly for Aisha, she doesn't have a place in both game modes. And the reason is very simple. Because Aisha, even though have a special ability that makes her tankiness increase slightly, she doesn't really have the stats to back her up in a long drawn out battle unlike those of Ogma or Marina. Even though her buff seems like an amazing deal to have in a team setting, she just simply does little to nothing in terms of colosum as she gets burst down really easily. So once she gets burst down, her buff does not really play a part. And in terms of arena, because of the short reach of her one-handed sword, it is very hard to actually attack the opponent and land your weapon skill because both abilities require you to be very close to the opponent. And combined with her very weak defensive stat, Aisha actually get burst down very very easily even if you try to make her work in the arena. Now let us look at the game modes where Aisha excels at. So number 1 is the Scarecrow and number 2 is the Guild Raids. So for Scarecrow right, because the Scarecrow is a steel target, Aisha's attack buff actually makes a significant difference in terms of maximizing your damage output. Since the Scarecrow doesn't really move nor retaliate, Aisha also has a very high chance to proc her crit hit boost from her weapon ability for the other teammates. So in short, Aisha is an amazing damage output increaser in terms of damage output for Scarecrow. As for Guild Raid, Aisha is one of the core units for melee teams in order to maximize melee teams damage output. At the same time, she is also able to fit into most teams simply because of her amazing team buff as a support unit. As for game modes such as Orbital, Story Mode or even Camazon, I will actually rate Aisha somewhere between the A tier to S tier for those modes simply because like I mentioned previously, Aisha doesn't really have good defensive stats, so she actually get busted down pretty easily in Camazon and Orbital Leaf. So if she doesn't survive long enough, then her attack buff will not have a significant impact on your team's overall damage output. Therefore, Aisha is going to be a really really good unit if you can make her tanky enough so that she survives long enough for your various game modes. At the same time, I would still say that she's one of or if not the best attack buffer in the game right now simply because she's able to boost your team's overall damage output by 80% alone. So how worthy is Aisha actually? In my opinion, Aisha is a B tier unit for your PvP game mode simply because she doesn't have a place so try not to use her if you want to climb your ranks. However, she's definitely an S tier unit for your PvE content simply because of the insane damage boost that she can provide for your whole team. She is a really really good rare units to have and to be invested simply because she can fit into most teams due to her universal chain skill and overall damage buff in order to increase your team's damage output. I would say Aisha is one of the best rare units to put a bit of investment in, if not the best unit simply because she will definitely stay for quite a bit due to her kit as well as her being really really useful in terms of boosting your overall positions in your guild rates. So that's all for this video. Let me know about what you think about Aisha in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell in order to see more videos from Zebo Gaming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!